All right, guys, welcome to Heart City Raindrops. My name is Will, and today we're going to talk about everyday carry stuff and also making yourself look good while you do it. So, meaning um, like your outfits, what you're accessorizing, how you're dressing, um, and also being able to carry the gear that you need to carry just in case like a situation uh, gets out of hand or, or whatever. You know what I mean? So, uh, keeping yourself stylish while you do everyday carry things. Um, I'm not sure if that's how you would say it, but whatever. It's You know what I mean? Like when you're dressed like Indiana Jones and you're just out at Target getting shower curtains, it's just like, all right, what are you doing? So um, to me, um, I like to dress nice, but it's also not like hard to do this. This is like easy things. So uh, I, it's this fall time. And one of my favorite things to do is just to layer. I like to layer up. I like to dress nice. And I like to look good most, you know, unless I'm like just chilling around the house. But uh, other than that, you know, it's not like you have to like dress super nice. Like this, this is a, a pretty simple outfit that just looks good for this time of year. Um, this is just a flannel with a hoodie and then some Levi 501s. And on my shoes, I am wearing the Thursday boots. And these are, let me just put that back. <laughs> this is, uh, these are the Thursday boots and these are the, I mean, honestly, I need to get them. I need to touch them up a little bit, but these are just the, the sexiest, awesomest boots for like fall time and springtime. I mean, I wore these all summer really too especially mainly when I was just going out, but these are like every day in the fall time and, and spring like that break in snow. I'm not going to wear these in the snow, but you know, if I'm going out to dinner or something and, and the occasion calls for just, you know, casual boot, then these are it. These are just awesome. They are handmade in New York city. Um, and they are pretty pricey, but they are awesome and you will love them. So these are the Thursday boots um, and they fit in like a glove because they are genuine leather. They're not just some fake leather. You're buying some crappy boot at, you know, Target or Walmart. These are going to last you. They're going to look good and people are going to ask about them. They're going to be like, yo, what are those boots? I've never seen those at like, you know, where I go um, because you're going to have to order them. So Thursday boots, check them out. There's other boot companies like Taft is good. They're super dressy though. Um, you know, get yourself a good pair of chuckas or, um, sorry, what are they called? I can't think that, you know, the, the uh, Chelsea boots, um, just stuff like that. It looks really good in the winter time. Um, not winter, just like this time of year. So anyway, that's pretty much the outfit and the jeans are just Levi 501s. I mean, these are my pretty much go-to jeans. I wear these all the time. I have them in a few different washes, but they are not super tight, but they are, they're fitted. They, they look nice. You know, they're not baggy. They're not, you know, like, oh my God, what are you wearing? But they're nice and they look good. They're not like, really tight. I have some jeans that are super freaking tight and are hard to put the gun on. Um, but these ones are okay. So other than that, that's pretty much, um, what I'm wearing for the majority of like fall and into the super colder months and all year, pretty much in the winter from this time on, which is today is October 21st this is pretty much what I'm wearing. It's getting cold out. It's going to be 40 degrees. So, you know, you don't see me in like tactical pants and stuff. You know, when I'm doing arm security, when I'm doing other tactical things that call for those things where I need to carry tourniquet on me, where I need to carry different things and, 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 uh, war flashlight and, and all that stuff, then yeah, I'm dressed in that kind of thing. But like on an everyday basis, I see guys that are just like, dude, you're wearing way too much gear and you just look like a total tool bag. And you know, if that's what you're about, that's fine, whatever. Um, this is just for guys who wanna style, but you don't need to really go overboard. So if you wanna go a little bit more dressy, I'll show you another option real quick. 
just before I throw that other option on real quick, I think that this is, it's okay because it's a plain hoodie and it doesn't have like, you know, anything on it, like, you know, America or, you know, I carry a gun or, you know, something like badass like that, which is cool when you're like, at the shooting range or when you're doing stuff like that but like for everyday thing you're just trying to remain inconspicuous personally i don't feel like you need to tell everyone that you're somebody who believes in the second amendment yeah that's fine that you do and you want to promote that that's great but honestly i just think that like you should just keep it to yourself and you know if somebody asks and tell them yeah whatever but um honestly you just look like a target and it just kind of makes you look you're just asking for it. You know, it's like, I don't know. To me, it's, I just, I just like to look normal. You know, um, I wouldn't really wear a plain hoodie like this. I like to make it fun. So like I said, either add a flannel on top of it or, you know, you can just do something like this, which is a vest. And these look really good with hoodies. And that's all you have to do. I mean, I'm going to go walk the dog dress like this later. The only difference is I'll probably throw on my Chuck Taylors instead of the boots. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much it. And this is from the Gap. All right, this hoodie here. Um, sorry, vest. It's really comfortable. It's got a couple of different pockets. No big deal. Whatever. It's a, it's a fashion thing. It's not like, you know, tactical bob. Um... I have a couple different color flannels and like I said, different color wash jeans that I like to wear. Um, but mainly they're just pretty much just like this. Uh, and this is from Levi's and I believe this hoodie, if I'm not mistaken, is Express. So I'm not a hundred percent sure. Uh, it, it could be actually, you know what? I think it's, um, yeah, I'm not, I'm not sure where it's from. I got it from somewhere. But it's just a plain hoodie, which I don't really like to wear by themselves like this. So generally, if I'm going to wear a hoodie like plain like this, it's going to be one of those zip up ones um, with just a plain like black or a colored shirt under it um, or something like that. So if you're going to wear just a flannel, which is a great option for a day like this because it's, it's kind of hot, it's kind of cold, the sun's hot, but it's cold air. You know what I mean? You can rock a flannel on a day like this. Don't wear a shirt underneath it like this. It should not be showing through. When your, butt, when your flannel's buttoned up, you should not have a shirt. You should just see your chest. All right, now don't button like, you know, Fonzie, but you know, up to the second button, should be unbuttoned and you should just see your neck and your chest. You should not see a t-shirt under there. That is a total violation. Uh, if anything, wear a graphic tee under it with the, with the flannel opened up. Storm, get. So moving on to other things uh, that every guy should pretty much have anyway is a watch. Now I know cell phones, blah, 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 tells your time. Honestly, if you want anybody to take you serious in this world these days, you're gonna need a watch. It's so ignorant to, to just, if you're having a conversation with someone, imagine just uh, taking out your phone. You're engaged in a conversation with someone and you're checking your phone. It's automatically, maybe you're just checking the time, whatever. Even if you say you're checking the time, it's going to make it seem like you're not paying attention, which is a huge deal breaker for most people. Um, it just makes you look like you don't give a shit. So if you wear a watch, you can just be like, oh, look at the time, you know, oh, I got to go or whatever, you know, or it just looks better. Honestly, guys. Get a watch. If you don't wear a watch, that's fine. I get it. But it's the ultimate fashion accessory for one for a man. If you want to accessorize, get a watch. This is the Seiko SNK 809 on a wrist candy strap. I had polished the bezel on it and added the strap. Great watch. Um, you guys know that sometimes I'll carry a G-Shock watch. That's usually for work. Um, but this is the watch I have on today. Other than that, on this side, you're not going to see like paracord bracelets with fish hooks on them and compasses and anything like that. Uh, I just have a Buddhist tie and a tiger bead bracelet from Rose Gold and Black. All right, that's that's pretty much it. That's as far as the accessories will go with me. I don't need anything else. So let's get into the fun stuff now, the EDC stuff that most guys uh, aren't going to do this. But this is what I have been doing lately. 
especially when I'm just walking a dog or it, it really just depends. I always carry my gun on me no matter what, some way or another, but this is what I've been doing lately. Sorry if that got a little scratchy. I've been trying to not hit the mic, but anyway, uh, this just is a crossbody bag. Um, you can wear, all right, so just like this. You can wear it as a fanny pack if you want. I just don't like that. Um, but if I'm when I'm going to walk her, um, or like when I go to the shopping uh, store to go food shopping, I'll just wear this, whatever. Um, you know, or it depends on what I'm doing. Most times, I'm probably just gonna put my firearm on me where it usually goes in the holster back here in this position. But when I have this on me, it's when I feel like I need a little bit of extra gear and want a little bit of extra gear. So this is the SOE special operations equipment um, tactical fanny pack that you can use as a fanny or like I do it the crossbody thing which I love. I love I love this thing. I use it every single day. So opening up to the fun part of it um, just opens up and you have all the goodies in here. All right, so you'll see a Sharpie marker, a orange Generation 7 cat tourniquet. This is a real Generation 7 cat tourniquet, like I've said a million times in all my videos. If you're not paying 30 bucks or, or more for these, sometimes you can get them on sale for like $26, $27, the older generations. Honestly, any less than that, it is fake. Don't even waste your money. I don't care what you say in the comments. These things are $30 most times. North American Rescue is where I get them or from uh, Skinny Medic at uh, his website, which is Medical Gear Outfitters. Um, there's plenty of different, like Canadian Prepper, I think, offers some kind of tourniquets on his websites. And all these guys that do these huge EDC channels have uh, genuine tourniquets. Like even like if you go on like um, Gideon's Tactical, he will put on his Amazon store the link to the real ones. So go check those guys out. I wish I had all my Amazon links and stuff set up. I am getting there, guys, by the end of the year or by the start of the new year. I will have a Hard City website where it will be my top pick gear and stuff. I'm working on it. Um, so I just need more. I need I need more subscribers uh, to keep it going. I mean, I need I need to know that this is going to keep going. And it, and it does. It's continuing to growing. And I'm so thankful for everyone who's here. But um, in order for me to make more things happen i want more subscribers so that i can have a, a reason to do it really so all right let's just keep on going in here so like i said generation seven cat tourniquet and a k bar all right now guys keep in mind this kit here this kit this i have this like this because i do do other things other than what my main job is that i don't really talk about on youtube uh arm security is one of them uh and this is kind of like my backup system for that uh, other than my Glock 19 that I carry on me for when I do that job. Um, but I'm also actually getting a new gun soon, you will see. And I will do a video on my vet and my plate carrier and all that stuff eventually. It's just, I just, I don't really like talking about that stuff on there because it is a very dangerous job and uh, I just don't talk about it. So anyway, let's continue on to this kit. This is also just a fun thing to do and it's, it's you have the gear you need. So up here, obviously, the Glock 43 in 9 millimeter. Um, it is hot, so we're just going to put that right back in the holster. And the holster in there is a QVO Tactical Storm. Hold on, guys. She has her water bowl, and she's pushing it around the house with her nose. Anyway, QVO Tactical Holster, it matches the bag. So the strap here that you see, that is because it's on this VanQuest um, holster setup that goes to the Velcro here, the, um, uh, what the heck is this called? Velcro panel, I forget. Uh, but anyway, and then here is just an extra magazine in case I need that. In my EDC bag, which will do a second part of this video, um, I have the Neo Mag holster um, clip that put, clips on there in case I want to put it 
in my pocket. All right, so the dog is driving me nuts here. Uh, so like I said, if I want to carry the firearm on me, which sometimes I'll do, and I won't really necessarily need this, you know, I'll just take it out of there just like that and, and put it in my uh, 430 position back here like I always do. Um, and like I said, this gun, if you guys are interested, ugh, just clear that for safety. Um, this, this firearm in particular is a Glock 43 like I have mentioned. It's got the stippled grip um, night sights on there, which are the True Glow TFX Pros. Uh, it's got a OC Customs trigger, which is basically nothing but a polished trigger bar ghost connector. Um, I used to have the Vickers slide stop, took it off. I used to have the uh, mag release extension, but it always popped the mag out when I was getting in the car or, you know, getting in, it would just pop that mag out a little bit, which is not a good thing. So I just took those kind of things out. Um, and like I said, it's got the polished trigger bar in there and everything's polished. Uh, double undercut, so you get more of a purchase on there. And I carry a, I always carry a plus one magazine from Tyrant Tact or base plate from Tyrant Tactical. My carry ammo is a the Hordeny 135 grain flex locks, and they are good rounds. They're light, uh, and very accurate. Um, obviously. Um, they are very, if you look up all the ballistic testing on those rounds, they are great. So that's pretty much all I have. And this is my daily carry. This is what I pretty much carry every single day. I've got over a thousand rounds through this thing. No hang ups. I am due to maintenance the, get a new spring on it and stuff. Um, cause it's getting close to probably 5,000 rounds out of this. I would, I would assume. Yeah, probably about that. So I got to change that, you know, um, the guide spring out of there and all that and probably do some things to it but i am getting a new firearm soon you'll see it on the channel very shortly um probably by december actually you gotta you see a lot of new things happening so anyway that is the firearm uh like i said rarely do i ever run this magazine in there but you know if i need to it's there and that's a plus two so with that combination of, of magazines and one in the chamber, uh, gives me 14, 15 rounds. Uh, let me see. Seven plus one, one in the chamber. Wait a minute, what is this, a six? Okay, six plus one, so you got seven, plus one, so you eight and then eight, so 14. Eight and eight's 14, right? Did I do that wrong? Oh my God, I'm such an idiot. Nobody's watching, <laughs> except everybody here. Okay, I'm really bad at math. No big deal. Um, the holster is a QVO tactical holster in multicam black, carbon fiber, Kydex. And the only other thing that's inside this part of it is my Olight M2T Warrior. This is 1200 or 1500 lumens with this battery in there. I think you put another battery in there that makes it a little less. But um, this is a super awesome uh, flashlight, and it's it just ma it just goes well with this whole kit. So um, there's that, and then like I mentioned, the K bar uh, tactical badass. So not all the time. Like if I'm going to certain places, it depends. You know, most times I'll just walk around this thing. But if it's um, required that I don't really need this, I'll just throw the gun on me and be good to go. Um, inside here, I keep a pen, Pilot G2, just in case you're wondering. Uh, an Eagle's lighter. It's gotta be Eagle's. Um, my log and jotter notepad and an extra bandana or handkerchief, which by the way, guys, these log and jotter notepads, I love these things because there's all different designs for the, the book cover of them, and it's awesome. Uh, another Sharpie marker, which I don't really need in there because there is one already. 
Um, this here is a Gerber little razor thing, blade. This is the Gerber backup, main cutting tool. I won't use my knife to cut most things. I'll just go for this. So there's that. I love this thing, by the way. Pry tool, uh, you'd be surprised how much I actually use this thing. So I keep that in there. And just a pair of pliers on, you know, Stanley cheap. I like them because the pliers are good. And I don't carry a multi-tool in this kit. Now, when I'm at work, I have my Leatherman Surge on me. And also a pry tool and a gil -Tec or, you know, Ruck razor blade and a the new Olight S1R2 baton. So that is my EDC belt kit for work. And you know, that is pretty much it for, and I, by the way, um, the other thing that's cool is too, is I can't bring my firearm into my workplace, but I do still use this. So I'm able to take my firearm out of here using that Velcro strap and Velcro it to a safe location inside of my vehicle, which is then locked, like excessively overly locked. It would take me 10, uh, it takes me about, I got to actually time that maybe, but it'd probably take, a, if I really wanted to rush uh, and I had the key and everything right where I needed to be, um, it would take less than a minute for me to get the gun out in case of a situation. But as soon as I leave work out of the property, I, do take it out so um you know god forbid there was something happened at the workplace but that's just something that i'm prepared for with tourniquets and medical supplies and uh you know i'll just throw a wrench if i have to i don't know but um no firearms in the workplace so um but i do still use this i just take the gun out of there very simply like just like that boom and uh, i do have a few of these velcro things uh all over my car and other backpacks and stuff so uh, you guys know my EDC backpack. I'll do that in a separate video with this. But um, this video is just about to be wrapped up. I just want to show you some on-body stuff. And so, yeah, this video, like I said, just about wrapped up. I'll just show you some on-body. So over here, I keep my Hank. Um, this is just a, I want to get a couple. I got a couple different ones, but I really like this one a lot. It's just a U.S. Army one. It's got the little Army men figures on there. Uh, I like the map one too. I have a couple different ones, but um, anyway, there's that. Um, next is a wallet. I'm pretty sure every all of us have a wallet. I don't keep a ton of cash. There's probably about 30 bucks cash in there. Um, and this is the VanQuest wallet with the RDIF blocker. Uh, just my driver's license and stuff is in here. And I always keep my titanium lock picks um, from Black Scout Survival inside my wallet. And I have used those in multiple occasions. I have a whole lock pick set in my EDC backpack, which is always with me as well. I just don't carry it. It's just, it's in my car, it's close by. I don't like walk around my backpack like a schoolboy, you know? So anyways, that is pretty much that, and then we'll just get into what else. I have a knife on me. Always, 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 always have a knife on you. Um, today, I am carrying the Brumley Boker Coeken, um with copper scales. Uh, it's a very, pretty expensive knife. Uh, VG10 steel. Super freaking sharp. I just really, really love this knife. And um, it just is patinaing, patina in well. And it looks good for uh, a spring fall carry with this outfit. It just looks great. And um, so, like I said, keep that style up. There's a way to do it where you can even have a nice knife. Um, so for a flashlight, uh, I, it's getting darker early and it is already um, almost four o'clock. So, oh, I'm sorry, three o'clock or no, it's a little past three. Uh, so, you know, it'll be dark in a few hours. You now it'll be dark around six. So I do have a another light source and this is the Olight S1 Baton Mini. Um, this one's 500 lumens. This is a great EDC flashlight because it is super small and you know your girlfriend or you know your date you know you drops her her 
her phone somewhere and you know you, your phone you know you're gonna be that guy it's like you trying to use your phone light or you're gonna be the guy that whips out this bad boy you know okay maybe it's super dorky you have a flashlight on you right but who the heck is gonna know that you have this flashlight on you and believe me it's nobody's gonna know unless you pull out the m2t warrior out of your back pocket with cargo pants you know you're good to go so like i said guys you can keep you could do all this stuff and keep your style up and nobody's really gonna know um and you can still look good and be the hero be the be the lifesaver of this young beautiful female that you brought on a date who's got a flat tire and you're trying to hold your cell phone why why you change your tire and plus if you don't have a damn flashlight you probably don't know how to change a flat tire anyway you know you're gonna be that guy that calls triple a you're gonna be the man you know you're gonna be the getting your mask clean but i got it baby you got a spare no well if no then <laughs> probably screwed but you should be prepared for these things, especially if you're taking your car. What if you get a flat tire? Oh my God, guys, do I have to do another car video? I think so. So the plan for this winter is I'm going to do um, like things that you can keep in your car. I've done one, but I want to get more excessive into it. Um, I'm going to teach you guys how to plug a flat tire. I'm going to teach you guys how to do a radiator. I'm going to teach you guys how to do change a flat tire on the side of the road, um, how you can do that. Um, what you should have in your car for that the tools you should have in your car for that should go by what kind of car you have um most of these new cars nowadays if it's super something wrong with the engine or something you're pretty much screwed you're not going to be able to run diagnostics on it but if it's like a simple thing like your bumpers hanging off and you know something like that then you should have the clip tool and the right thing in your car for that so anyway i don't want to get all into that that's for another video but that's what's coming up uh, in future videos, guys, stuff like that, more fashion stuff. If you like how I did this EDC video, uh, let me know because I'll do more of it. I have other uh, fashion accessories that um, you can intricate into your EDC systems without looking like Indiana Jones slash Batman slash Nathan Drake slash uh, Willy Wonka in Chocolate Factory. Anyway, that is all I have for this video um keep it real guys there's no reason to be unprepared but there's also no reason to look like the characters i've said before storm you're eating the wall i'm gonna kill her i'm gonna literally literally kill the dog no i'm just kidding but um you know she's she's getting agitated she needs to go for a walk so when i go for a walk with her i'll probably just wear this because i don't feel like changing it looks good and i'll put that around me and be good to go you know if i'm going to like um the store or something and i don't want to walk around that i'll just take it out and put my gun it depends guys you know what i mean so um that is what i've been doing lately we'll do the bag video in another video part two but um, which is my EDC backpack. We'll get into excessive, the, um, we'll dive all into it, rip everything out of it, tear it out, tear it down for, for winter, you know, because there's things that are different inside that. And like I said, you're not going to see the winter gloves and the hat in that little sack thing that I have because those things are in my backpack, but they are there, they exist, and I have them. I am prepared. Anyway, guys, I'll see you in the next one. Like, share, subscribe. Peace.